We launched Duolingo about seven years ago in 2012. I wanted to do something that would give equal access to education to everybody. The mission of Duolingo is to make sure that you can learn a language for free. In these short years, we went from very, very few users to over 300 million. We are the most downloaded education app in the history. There are more people learning languages on Duolingo in the U.S. than there are people learning languages in the whole U.S. public school system. Google Play fits into how we would want to distribute Duolingo. 20% of our users are in the U.S., 80% is abroad, and majority of emerging countries use Android devices. This lets us kind of fulfill our mission better of providing access to language education. Google Play and Android allows our app to be accessible to a much wider audience that is absolutely critical to the reach of our impact. The hardest thing about learning a language by yourself is keeping yourself motivated. We've worked really hard to make the app engaging. And the way we did it was by incorporating a lot of game mechanics. You only fail learning a language if you stop. That's why Duolingo is designed in such a way to motivate you to keep going. Experimentation is really in the sort of heart of Duolingo. We are a very, very data-driven company. Every single new feature that we put out on Duolingo is an A-B test. We only give it to a small fraction of our users, and then we measure whether those users use the app for longer, whether they learn better. It has allowed us to really improve how sticky the app is. It has allowed us to teach better, and it also has allowed us to monetize our audience better. If we can have more users, this helps us experiment faster. If we can experiment faster, we can teach better. If we can teach better, hopefully we'll be able to reach more people. Having all those users go through our courses helps us look through the learning patterns and see how are people really learning. Having a lot of data is really critical for our continuous development of the product. We decided we had to monetize our huge user base. Our hands were a bit tied because the one thing we couldn't do is the one thing that most education apps do, which is basically charge for educational content. We put programmatic ads at the end of every lesson. Soon after, we added a subscription, but the main thing the subscription did was turn off the ads. And by now, I'd say about 85% of our revenue comes from Duolingo Plus, from the subscription, and about 15% comes from the ads. We are the top grossing app in education, and yet we don't charge for educational content. The Google Play platform is very developer friendly. There's just a number of things that have helped us experiment faster. We've been very lucky to be able to work with Google Play. A lot of our users are really learning English to better their lives. I think these are the users that we really come in every day for. Learning a language can really change your life. Being able to talk to somebody else in their native language really allows you to connect with them and to know them as a different person. The only advice I'd have for someone who's maybe starting a new app or a startup is to really stay true to the idea and mission behind. One of the things that I think has made Duolingo so successful is we've built a team that is extremely passionate and believes 100% in what we're trying to accomplish here.